water management, water quality management. Sure, um, yeah. Farmers have been accused for years, and some of them correctly, rightly accused, of polluting the waterways. Um, mostly with manure. Okay. Um, some with chemicals. We don't use any chemicals here at all. Um, but we do have animals. And um, the NRCS, the Natural yeah. Resource... Uh, Conservation? Conservation... Core service, yeah. Yeah, service. I'm not sure. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's at the federal level. They've got money set aside for grants yeah. to help people who have farms near waterways to do things that will keep their waterways clean. Um, as you can see, we've got the sheep right here and the pond right there. Yeah. So what they've done, what they did for us was that we put gutters on the barn to catch all the water that comes off the top roof of the barn that would normally have gone into the sheep's tunnel. Yeah, and make that all messy, yeah. So they all gets caught into here and comes down and skirts the, skirts the sheep's dirty area and shoots out and goes down to the pond. Okay. There's a catch basin on the other side of the barn, and we've sloped the driveway so that all of the water that comes off of the hill behind us mm -hmm. goes down into that catch basin. That catch basin goes into a pipe that goes underground and feeds into a trench right in the top of the garden. The water shoots through that trench and then shoots down here. Okay, neat. So, so pretty much the animals uh, area is isolated from a lot of this intense water yes. so that way yes. it's not it getting into the pond it is and now the other and the other thing that's great and i love this garden this is the best garden i've got the garden gets all the runoff when it rains that hits their turnout area okay so, so that helps a lot with irrigation oh God, then it yeah it's a pretty, lot with, yeah and yeah. it it helps with nutrients i mean this garden oh, is runoff is yeah beautiful and um, as far as just a more macro view of having two ponds, which were here before you got the land, they were there from the 1920s, was it? Or around 1900. 1900, okay. Yeah. Um, now, since they have, since you have land that has this and a lot of newer farmers like installing ponds just for the ecosystemic benefits, are there... Um, are there specific benefits that you see as to having water as opposed to if this was just a field that, I mean, you could use it if it was a field, it'd be pasture or something you could do different, but do you get certain benefits by being next to bodies of water or anything that helps produce like it. it or that you like it? Yeah, which the, that's the fun factor. <laughs> that we have migrating birds, diving ducks, great blue heron. We have all kinds of frogs, billions of frogs. They, they make a din at night in yeah. the spring. You can hardly hear yourself talk. Yeah. Um, it's beautiful. <laughs> we have otter. We had an otter here this spring. And beaver. Um, and we have beaver. And, and we, and the fishing is really good. Okay, so there are fish But we fish don't there. use it. Yeah. We don't fish because we're typically in the gardens or, or working with the animals or moving fences or doing something. Um, and it's beautiful. And it's an emergency backup system. If you run out of water, you have water. Um, we have pumped out of these ponds to water our gardens in okay. the drought. Um, yeah, I guess that could be. Yeah, I, I was, I was, I, for a second, I was thinking you meant drinking water, but you'd need a series filter yeah. for that. Yeah. I, I would never want to live on a piece of property where there wasn't water. Okay. It, it's just. Yeah. I, I think it's a bad idea. The whole garden over there is watered by. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Cool. So good. Oh yeah, I wanted to yeah, speak to that. Yeah. There's nothing bad about it. Yeah. Nothing bad at all yeah. about having water on your property. Yeah. But tell them what we wanted to do, and the DEP said no. Eh. 